Hello, I'm Kanitha Greenwood, and my Indian name is Nikomi. And today I am honored to be sharing with you the Oto War Mothers Blanket, recognizing them as the first Native War Mothers chapter. Uh, it has the names of the original charter members from 1943 and their veterans that served during that time. Uh, this blanket will be displayed in the Hall of Warriors at the new First American Museum, opening spring 2021. And um, I wanted to share this blanket with the War Mothers before I turned it over to the museum, and I really wanted to be able to do this in person because I miss you all greatly. But um, I decided to do it through this video uh, in hopes of keeping everyone safe and healthy. So I want to start by thanking the Oto War Mothers uh, organization and their president, Thomas Sita, for the honor of asking me to create a blanket design that will represent them for years to come. Uh, the original War Mothers created their blankets and their own designs, but today's chapter decided they like, they'd like to have coordinating blankets that um, they could wear when they were called upon to dance somewhere. So I am overwhelmed with gratitude that they would uh, think of me to carry out this task and just very humbled. Um, this request afforded me many opportunities. Um, one is uh, being able to have the time to reflect upon um, and continue the skill of making these special blankets that uh, my great-grandmother, Madge Pettit Dent, was uh, known for. And um, I took out a couple of her blankets and looked them over and saw how she put them together, and most of them done by hand, of course, and um, it was just really uh, good to reflect on those before I started this project. And um, I'd also like to thank my mom, Joanne Aitzen, who's a, an accomplished seamstress in her own right, and um, she advised me along the way with the sewing section part of the blanket. So I can do beadwork all day, every day, um, but I'm still honing in on my sewing skills. So it was helpful to have her guidance along the way. And uh, I'm, used, I'm, I'm used to designing my Oto clothes and just turning my patterns and material over to her and sit back and wait for her to make my dreams come true. So. Uh, this time I actually took the sewing machine on myself and I think she took a little delight in watching me struggle, but that's okay. So I'm very thankful that uh, she was there to talk me through the process and uh, offer her advice and guidance along the way. So, Hina, Vigruni, Jeki. Now, um, Tomasita, the president of the Ota War Mother chapter, would uh, like to say a few words. Hello, friends and relatives. I'm Tomasita Little Crow. I'm the current president of the Ultra War Mothers Chapter 14. Our chapter has been around for 77 years. In 2017, Don Briner, Tisa Rubidoux, Linda Big Soldier, and myself revived and reorganized the Ultra War Mothers. Today, we have 10 members. Kenneth Greenwood designed our flyer for the 75th anniversary celebration of the Ultra War Mothers. The design was made to look like a blanket. I liked how it looked. So I asked her to design a blanket for our chapter. We had the opportunity to invite the Cairo War Mothers to the same celebration. I admired how they all had matching blankets. I want to thank Kenitha for all her hard work and commitment to the Ultra Missouri tribe and our organization. She has done an outstanding job on the creation of the Ultra War Mothers charter members and the veterans blanket that will be displayed in the new First American Museum. I wish we could Meet in person, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, 
Unveiling the blanket virtually is the safest way to keep our elders, children, and other members safe. Our prayers are with the family members that have lost loved ones to the COVID-19. God bless everyone and stay safe. Yeah. Thank you, Tomsia, for uh, sharing your thoughts and your kind words. And now I'd also like to thank my sisters, uh, Don Briner, who is also a war mother, and Heather Payne for solidifying the names of the veterans of the war mothers that were serving at the time that organization was formed. So um, this was quite a task for them to take on uh, because as far as we know, this information has never been compiled. But after gathering information from families and uh, also extensive research for the ones we had no information on, uh, they were able to provide me with their names so that they can be included on this historical blanket. Um, I was able to include the first offices held by the original war mothers uh, thanks to a written interview with the late Fanny Grant. Um, she was the war mother's first chaplain, and she was also the first Indian woman to be elected to state office in Oklahoma, serving as chaplain as well. And so I'm very thankful for uh, this information being recorded. And last but not least, I'd like to extend my gratitude to the First American Museum and senior curator, Dr. Heather Otto. Um, it was about the time the War Mothers asked me to come up with a design for them that the museum approached me about finding a way to represent our War Mothers as the first all Indian chapter in their um, Hall of Warriors. So together, we came up with, it, with creating this blanket um, that would tie the past War Mothers and our present day uh, chapter together. So it was kind of serendipitous situation, how everything um, fell together and uh, I'm, again, extremely grateful and honored by both the Oto War Mothers and the museum to be able to create this piece that will represent our War Mothers by all who visit the exhibit. And now, uh, Dr. Heather Otto, Senior Curator of the First American Museum, would like to say a few words. Good afternoon. I am Heather Otto. I am Choctaw and a citizen of the Chickasaw Nation. I am the Senior Curator at First Americans Museum. I come to you today with tidings of great gratitude for your kindness and generosity in allowing Kanitha Greenwood to prepare the most beautiful blanket I've ever seen. We are so honored to be bringing this blanket to First Americans Museum to honor the Oto War Mothers chapter, the first chapter to form of the American War Mothers Society in Oklahoma's native community. We are honored to be able to include this blanket to tell your story as part of our story and as part of the extended family in Oklahoma's tribal community. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you in person after COVID, after we can get together in person. I look forward to shaking each of your hands. Today, I hope that this is enough to let you know how grateful we are, how honored we are, and we look forward to hosting you in our museum. 2021, see you there. Thank you so much, Heather, for the very kind words. Before I go into an explanation about the blanket, I'd like to read the charter members' names and their veterans. Mary Harrigar, President, and her veterans were Kenneth Harrigar and Virgil Harrigar. Josie Little Crow, Vice President, and her veterans were George Little Crow and Leonard Little Crow. Ada Black, Custodian of Records, and her veteran, Kenneth Black. Velma Hudson, Corresponding Secretary, and her veteran, Ennis O. Hudson. Lizzie Homaratha, Recording Secretary, and her veterans were Albert Homaratha and James Homaratha. Fanny Grant, chaplain, and her veteran, Jefferson Kihika, Jr. Madge Dent, and her veteran is Henry Dent. Lena K. DeRoyne, and her veterans were Edison DeRoyne, George R. Kikita. Bessie Kent, and her veterans were Aaron Kent, Gilbert Kent, and Reuben Kent. Carrie Koshaway, and her veteran was Corinne Koshaway. Hazel Pettit, and her veterans were Marvin Pettit and Melman Pettit. Um, 
on this blanket, I used the traditional dark blue broadcloth for the blanket. The organization's name and War Mother's emblem are on the top flap on this blanket, um, just to make room for the names below. But on your blankets, it can be placed on the center back along with the name of your veteran. The names of the charter members and their veterans are all embroidered across the back of the blanket. And I wanted to include both ribbon work and beadwork on the blanket, so um, since they're both uh, traditional to our tribal dress. And I created this four color ribbon work pattern exclusively for the War Mothers and used their patriotic colors. And the beadwork at the bottom until the eagle and the American flag, which both had a prominent place in many of the blankets uh, the original War Mothers created in their own ways. And I also embellished the designs with some silver buttons as well. appreciate the War Mothers uh, the museum again for um, this wonderful opportunity. Wadiko Kiki. Hey ho, we are, hey ha, yo, hey, hey, we are.